What's up, YouTube? It's Dan and Amanda here, and I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited today because we are going to be sniffing the world's most expensive perfume. Really? Yes. I can't believe there's something that's really expensive out there. Why not? I don't know. There's got to be something expensive for everything. That's true. That's right. Like my TV. And this, if I like it, Oh. Could be Christmas present. Oh yeah, nine hundred dollars. Yeah, that'd be like everybody's Christmas present just for you. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Um, okay, I have three of them here. Okay. I have Clive Christian's eighteen seventy two X and number one for men. We are gonna start off with the least expensive one first. I've never sniffed any of these, so I'm pretty excited. I've had these sample cards here. I don't know, eight, ten months, just sitting there, just afraid to open them. <laughs> There's only, you know, just this little thing. It almost looks like a little, like, um, thing that you'd get from a magazine, you know, like, that just, like, a peel-off, you know? Yeah. And then you just, like, wait, oh. that's forever so I can smell it. I know. Day. So what we're going to do it today. We're going to check right. them out quick. Okay. See what, see what we think of these. Okay, 1872 right. for men is... $310 for a 1.6 ounce. Cheaper. Not bad. <laughs> okay. Cheaper. That's a lot. Here we go. Okay. Oh, Mickey's excited. He's like, I want to smell too. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Get down. Okay, how do we, how do we work this? I think you just kind of smell it, don't you? What do you mean? Cut? What the hell? Don't you put it on? Or do you just smell it? Weird. You just smell it? You just smell it? That's all you do, huh? Does it smell? Copper. Well, don't... It smells familiar. It doesn't smell... It smells kind of dated. It does. Something old school? Something I wouldn't like? It's not bad. But not 300 and some dollars worth, though. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, I could definitely see that. It's a little it spicy. Is. It is a little old school. A little green and spicy. But Hilda, do you want to smell the most expensive fragrance in the world? Yes. A little green and spicy. Not bad. I wouldn't pay 310 bucks for it, though. Here, you smell it? No way. Want to smell that one? Yeah. Yeah? It's pretty good, huh? I don't know. Would you pay three hundred some dollars for it? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Well, we got someone who's in the house. I thought we were... Hey, quiet! All right, let's move on. Let's move on to, uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me, the second most expensive one, which is X for $355. All right. All right, let's see what this smells like. X. Here we go. That one's kind of nice. It's kind of got like a, a sweet, almost kind of candy vibe to it. I really can't tell. It's pretty soft. I'm going to smell the other one. Let's go not to one. Yeah, it's a little soft. Hmm. I wouldn't pay. Yes. Three hundred and what was this one? Three hundred and fifty-five bucks. No. She's really. It's really soft. Maybe for being card stocked, but yeah, that's still kind of small. I don't know. It just smells almost like a sweet. That would just smell good, doesn't it? Sweet candy-like aroma to it. Hmm. I don't know. That's when I get off this card anyway. But uh, how do you judge price anyways? But 355 bucks? Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not too impressed. But here, here we, go. we go with the world's most expensive perfume, number one, uh, ready for us oh, no. on a piece of card. Hold on a second. Oh, now, I want to rip it off. this one is $865. For a 1.6 ounce. So that's not bad. And I really got a kick out of the website. 
it's, it's got a disclaimer when you go to order one of these. It says, uh, due to high demand, a customer may order no more than six units of this item every 30 days. Who the hell is doing that? Who, who, the, who the hell is doing that, I'd like to know. And uh, if it's you, PM me. We need to hook up. I need some new friends. That's right. <laughs> That's Jeepers! Right. I don't know. I get a kick out of that. But I also know that uh, if you go to like Forbes magazine, top most expensive perfumes in the world, this juice, number one, is also bottled. I think there was only 10 units made. Something like that. And uh, it comes in, you know, a really super fancy diamond crystal bottle. And it ends up costing you like two hundred and fifteen thousand dollars what yeah that's crazy it sure is beautiful though the case and the presentation and everything is is just gorgeous i mean if i had the cash i would buy it well i bet you would too <laughs> for sure that would make for one hell of a video we'd get a lot of views on that one i bet <laughs> that'd be one hell of an unboxing hopefully fragrance net will get it in maybe you get a deal maybe <laughs> For sure. Okay, now, are we ready? Yes, I want to do it. No, for number one. Uh -oh. Here. Here, he'll help you. I'll help you. You ready? Gotta do it slow. Pull it off there. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, listen up, listen up, listen up. Number one for men. Here we go. About to put my nose on this bad boy. What the hell? Hell with that. Yep, I like that one. Let your mom smell it. They're so faint. Yeah, they are pretty faint, so that kind of sucks. But, Here, I, I can kind of tell what it's about. Can I do one too? Yeah, you can try it. What is it? Oh, yeah. Mom, I'm trying to get one off. Not really. It's not bad either. It's really good. It's really, it's powdery. Yeah. Powdery, perfumey, kind of almost something like a lady would wear. Yeah, for sure. But for nine hundred dollars, mom? No. Yeah, it's everything. powdery. Fuck that. <laughs> Forget that. <laughs> Skip it. Drop it down. We're not gonna do this. <laughs> this mom. is a powdery fragrance. Fuck oh, hell with that. Mom. Well, oh, it's a good thing. It's a good mom. thing. I don't like that stuff. <laughs> what the heck? They're crazy. I don't know what kind of marketing ploy is behind this house. Maybe I should look into it more, but whatever it is, they're doing a good job because they're making bank on this stuff. Well, they shouldn't have it. They shouldn't even have it like this. That's... Yeah, but you can kind of get a whiff of what they're about. Yeah, but still, that's kind of horrible. Well, you write them and tell them. Tell, I will. Tell them I'll you're tell pissed. I am. Because they want, how much was the sample like that? If it's like $5, no, it's No, these are free. Well, either way. <laughs> either way. Either way. They should You guys suck. You send me free stuff. That's right. And it's crap. <laughs> now look what you did. You upset him. Now I'm upset. To the max. Now I don't know how I can live Christ, like I was this. talking to people earlier and they're, they're ripping on Veda Vertanka. The hell is wrong with people? And if Vetiver Taco, I mean, at least you got an actual sample bottle, like a little sample vial of that, versus just a cardboard box. Disappointing. Yeah, I like this one. I like that. Powdery crap, number one. Hey, Blech. I like that a lot. Junk. No, I like that. Throw it away, it's garbage. No, we don't I need like that. that a lot. But, no, mine. We got, we got a little diva. You know, if I did win the lottery, though, I would buy the bottles just to have my collection because they're damn like pretty. That's probably where all the money goes. It was the damn Only bottle. Time I... All right. Woo! All right. All right. All right. That's, it. That's it. I waited like eight, ten months for this. Ah, whatever. Oh, that's disappointing. Man. Least, I just love this. Oh, well. At least someone's happy out of all this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all, all right. right. Yeah. Well, I guess that's it, guys. Hope yeah. you guys enjoyed. Uh, you guys take care. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Later.